All right, today we're gonna to be looking at Keyword Pro, and this is on AppSumo, and this just released or launched on AppSumo just within the last couple of weeks. It has one review, um, looks like it is, we're gonna skip right into the review real quick. So it has one review um, <clears throat> from November 28th, and they did give it five tacos or five stars. They just say, loving it, uh, gave me 1200 plus ideas for my primary keyword. The tool is simple and super fast. Um, I love the keyword difficulty part as I've been looking for something that matches or is close with Ahrefs, and I am glad I got it from Keyword Pro. So it only has the one review. Um, this is basically a you know your kind of uh, basic keyword research tool. Um, we're going to go and test it out here in just a minute. I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on the uh, like the sales page right over here. There's not a whole lot to it. It's a keyword research tool. Um, you're going to get plan one on AppSumo. <clears throat> uh, this is $49 and you're going to get, uh, what features do you get? So you get life, lifetime access, um, all future basic plan updates, and you can stack up to three codes. So you're going to basically you're buying in, we'll go look at the plan, the pricing on their site as well. <clears throat> but they're being very clear about this, that you're going to be on the basic plan. Even if you get uh, tier three here, um, it's just going to increase the amount of credits that you get per month. Okay. Uh, so we have unlimited keywords. Um, I don't know what that means. Uh, to me, I think that that means that we can go up to a search box and type in a seed keyword 250 times on plan one. Um, and then it's going to, uh, it's not going to limit the amount of keywords that it's going to bring back for us. So I do like that. There are tools out there that, um, for the lower plans, um, they kind of base them off of, um, they're only going to return, you know, like 500 results or a thousand results. So this one is uh, basically saying unlimited keyword ideas. So I like that. It's really just the amount of use that you can use. The tool is really what separates the different plans. You, you get unlimited exports, <clears throat> keyword difficulty metrics. I believe they just added that. So that's cool. And all metrics. So plan two or tier two, we've got $98 and you just double everything. So you double the credits per month. Everything else stays the same. So you get 500 credits per month and planned tier three for AppSumo pricing is 147 and you get a thousand credits per month. And of course, unlimited keyword ideas, unlimited exports and so forth. So um, overall, <clears throat> pricing looks pretty good, um, but that is going to, uh, let's go and check out how good this tool actually is. Now, I do want to go and cover their roadmap real quick. So we have the uh, Keyword Pro uh, roadmap, and they have this is what they've done so far, the keyword difficulty, they've added that. So it sounds like they've actually launched, or they did launch without the keyword uh, difficulty. And I, for me, I just don't see why you would launch a keyword research tool without some type of keyword difficulty metric. I'm glad that they have that in there by, by the time they launched on AppSumo. <clears throat> so we're not all over here confused or, um, you know, requesting for that basic function there. The CSV exports uh, functionality has been added. So I'm, again, glad that we can do that. <clears throat> I don't think that that's really, it's not cutting edge or anything like that. Um, I'm just glad that we have it. Uh, processing uh, advanced filters, um, so it looks like they're going to add filters, uh, min, max ranges and so forth. So this is kind of like those things that like when you're launching the software, you need to think next level, next step, right? You're always going to want to have some type of filtrate filtration, uh, with the key keywords. So launching without that, uh, I, you know, and I, and I haven't used the tool yet, so we'll see, maybe they actually have this on here and they haven't updated the roadmap yet, but you know, you definitely want some of these, I, I consider these all standard keyword research tool um, options. Um, so they should have already had that done, uh, speed up the fetching. Uh, so they're going to speed up their system and so forth. Uh, they're really going to need to do that if they're going to have a chance at being very successful, um, over here on AppSumo before we dive in, Actually, uh, I'm already logged in, and this is actually kind of interesting. So you can see, hey, David, right here. <clears throat> uh, it's just really basic, um, and the way that it works is I'm already logged in, and I'm going to go ahead and put my keyword in right here and say find keywords. It says find thousands of keyword ideas and keyword difficulty um, for your business. Um, so that's cool uh, for 215 countries. Now, here's one thing, um, the 6.5 billion keywords right here, they're literally clearly stating that right here on the website that there's over 6 billion keywords. But if we go back over here and we look at the chart 
from what they launched with, we have just 100 million plus keywords. There's a big, big, big difference between 6 billion and 100 million. So to me, um, there's there's got to be something, um, uh, there's just something that just doesn't add up. If you come over here and you say how many millions are in a billion, there's 1,000 million in a billion. So this would be, a 6 billion would be 6,000 million. But over here, these are just these little, um, you know, things that I find while I'm reviewing software, guys. Um, this is clearly a huge discrepancy between 100 million keywords and 6 billion uh, keywords uh, right over here. So I don't know what it is. Uh, this is what they have on their site over here. Um, obviously, as we do some keyword research, we will all probably uh, understand it a little bit better. Um, it looks like they do have some brands using this. Um, and so <clears throat> this is what I wanted to touch base on, touch base on a second ago, which was that, um, you know, you're basically on the sales page right here, um, while we are logged in. So it is, um, kind of an interesting, you know, obviously here's some reviews on the site and so forth, but you know, we shouldn't have a login button right here and try for free and stuff like that. When I'm already logged in, I'm already at the top, I'm logged in. So there's not really like a, a you know, a, and it, even up here, it doesn't even show that I'm like logged in. Um, I don't know how they've coded this, but it's just a little different than what I'm used to. Um, let's go ahead and start with a keyword here. But like I said, I just wanted to touch base on that. So far, like being logged into the software isn't anything special. And it's, um, it's very basic in my opinion. Um, there, you, there should be like a user interface and a back end uh, for people that are logged into the system versus people that are just uh, investigating the software. Now, um, before I put that seed keyword in, I want to go and check the pricing real quick. So like everyday pricing for the site um, for Keyword Pro is going to be for the basic plan, it's $99 per year, and that gives you the 250 credits per month and so forth, right? Um, if you go with the pro version, that's $590 per year and you get the thousand credits per month. So you can compare that to the pricing. Obviously you would be way, way better off, um, by going and, um, picking up the, uh, pricing on AppSumo, which is right here. You got your plan one, two, and three, um, with way better pricing and so forth, um, so you definitely want to pick up the AppSumo, uh, lifetime deal on this one for sure. So now we're uh, logged in over here. I'm just going to click on the home button and we're going to go and put in a key seed keyword um, just for fun. Let's go with gardening and I'm going to say find keywords and let's just see what this tool can do for us. So showing limi uh, limited results, 100 of a thousand total keywords because I'm on the free account. Okay. Um, but showing limited results, 100 of a thousand, there should be more than a thousand keywords for gardening. If I come over here to um, SE ranking and let's just go and look. So I go to SE ranking and we type in gardening and analyze. We'll see how many keywords we get. So you're going to have a ton of keywords. Um, you're going to have 600,000 similar keywords that have to do with anything with gardening related keywords are over 2000 and qu just questions about gardening is over 15,000. So, um, that is kind of one of the things that you want to pay attention to is, <clears throat> Even if I had the upgraded account, it's showing right here that I would only get a thousand keywords, um, you know, and I want to check out, um, I, I think I only get five searches, but let's go and see what we have here. So we've got the KD, um, this, this kind of sucks, right? I mean, <clears throat> I'm just trying to do a quick review. Just give me five searches and show me the competition and stuff, right? Um, this is just, uh, man, you know, I, cause I, I don't really want to buy the tool guys, um, for just to do a review. It's definitely not a tool that I need in my business. I already have a lot of keyword research tools. I don't really want to go and pay $50 for the tool and then have to get a refund on it and all that stuff. So, um, I, hopefully you can bear with me. Um, but we have the, um, it's going to give you a competition score, a cost per click, a volume and a, a KD. So, um, K K keyword difficulty score right here and then competition. <clears throat> there's that's kind of like a discrepancy. I mean, what does that mean, right? Is the competition right over here based on the cost per click? So like maybe the paid advertising is 
is high if they have a number right there. And the keyword difficulty right here, I would assume would be something that is uh, SEO um, or, you know, organic search organic traffic right here. Um, what I wanted to do was be able to, so we can, we can filter this. They it looks like they have added these filters. So we go back over to the roadmap over here. Um, and they were going to add in this right here. So this hasn't been, um, it's under processing, but it actually should be moved over to done because they've already added that feature. There's a filter right here, a basic filter. You can reset the filter. You can add your max volume, but they're not even giving me volume. That's just nuts guys. I mean, come on, give a real trial out um you really kind of ticks me off actually because they're only giving me five searches um if we go to account they're only giving me five requests or five searches or something like that on the free version um and so it's kind of like well the only way you're going to get me to act and then look i just lost where i'm at you know the only way that i'm going to get um to actually go and sign up after trying the trial is actually seeing what the tool does. I know that I've ranted on this before guys, but this is just a classic example of I'm already kind of unimpressed with the tool with just, it's just weird. Um, the way that they have this kind of set up, um, and you can tell it's just kind of thrown together. Um, and then the fact that they're letting me do a keyword research, on the free trial, but then they're not even going to give the basic information <clears throat> and they're only letting me use it five times anyways. Right. So they're, it's not like they need to protect their software in any way. They're only letting me do it a couple times. So it's just very frustrating and they're definitely not going to get a, like thumbs up from me, especially when they can't even give a proper trial. Um, even if, you know, you're limiting it to a hundred words, right? So we come over here and let's just say vertical gardening. Uh, very specific. I want to get very specific with this. Um, there's a hundred of 356 uh, keywords, right? So 356 keywords of vertical gardening. I want to go back over to SE ranking and I want to go to keyword research and just doing some comparisons for you. So vertical gardening um, right there. I'm going to save search. For related keywords, we have 1800. We have 1800 similar keywords. So it basically means that there's 1800 words in here. Um, so what is that? Three, six, nine, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So it's five to six times more in a keyword tool like SE ranking um, as compared to what they're um, giving us right over here. So not too impressive as far as, you know, it's only giving us 300 uh, keywords, like one sixth of what SE ranking is giving us for that keyword. Um, but you could search for a keyword right there. It's got a, you know, just a, a minimal, um, I don't know what's going on with the screen right now. Uh, look at what's going on with the screen guys right now. I'm recording this. I just pushed the plus one and it just keeps expanding. What is going on? Is it, it just continues to keep going. Look at this guys. What is going on with the tool? Look at this. It's just, it's expanding. Look at this. Do I have a slide bar? Yeah. Look at this. Okay. We've got some coding issues going on over here, guys. Look at this talk about some coding issues. Uh, let's go see if I can push this down. Okay, cool. Uh, let's see if I go with like a 200 and then look at what happens. So that's not, that's not working. Right. And maybe that has something to do with the fact that we don't even have, we don't have a volume. So I can't really uh, filter anything right there. Um, let's see if I can filter, um, right here. So yeah, it's doing this right now because, uh, possibly, um, because well, now I can't really shut this off, guys. Look, huh. a reset filter. Okay, so maybe that's their graphical way uh, of, of letting me know that um, I need to upgrade my account so um, it doesn't uh, slide uh, like that. Just very, very weird and quirky right there. Um, but we're gonna go and look. So we got vertical gardening, vertical gardening, vertical garden gardening, uh, hydroponic gar uh, gardening vertical, um, I think we've, you know, kind of seen enough. Um, let's see how many we can go per page. We can see up to a hundred per page and look at all the keywords that are coming in right here. And we can export this, uh, right over here. Uh, we'll just go take a look at what this looks like if it up exports it and everything's undefined, obviously. So we'll have all these keywords right here. So, um, 
All right, guys. So I reached out to the vendor and I'm going to just uh, hold off on uh, publishing this review. I feel like I at least need to get this data right over here uh, because what I really wanted to do was do a comparison. So like find some of these keywords and see what they're rating as keyword difficulty and then compare it to a couple other tools to see if it's, um, you know, pretty accurate. Um, at least uh, amongst other tools. Um, and so then I could actually properly give a suggestion if this is a pretty good tool or not. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and wait a day on this and I'll be right. And then I'll finish up the review. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and finish up my uh, Keyword Pro review for you. So it's actually been five days um, or longer since I reached out to their support. So this is going to be something I'm going to go over right over here. But let's just go over my verdict uh, right over here, I had to uh, stop the review in the middle of my review because I just wasn't uh, happy with well, where I was at. I wanted to get um, stronger access. This is definitely not a tool I'm willing to purchase, even to do the review and then get a, um, a refund. Um, and you'll see why. Um, it needs to uh, at least check some boxes before I actually even go and do that, invest my own money into a tool, because I don't want to be uh, investing my money into a tool and then getting a refund if I don't like uh, even though I know I'm not going to like it. Um, but doing that just for the sake of getting a review out, and I'm sure you guys would understand that from a business standpoint um, that I can't just do that um, to a lot of softwares each month and then get reviews, uh, sorry, get um, refunds on AppSumo for that, then they'll flag my account and I'll lose my account, right? So you do still have to be careful with um, how many times you get refunds on the um, on AppSumo. Um, usually I tell you 95% of the time I'm able to get free access if I actually ask for it. Uh, oftentimes the vendors will even reach out to me um, to give me access. But nonetheless, my verdict is that the software is buggy. You saw that in my review already where, you know, you click on the filter and it just starts expanding and doing weird things and so forth. So it's definitely buggy. I showed you that on screen. Um, I've actually major, major bug, uh, UI bug. Um, and then the software is just very basic. Um, so I'm going to move down right over here. So software, very basic, meaning that... Um, looking at the software, you really just, it's like one, uh, first of all, when you log in and you're going to go and do a search, um, there's just a search box and you and you're on the sales page, right? You're on the sales page, but then you're logged in and then there's just one box and you put in a seed keyword and then you go from there. And then there's just a few columns, simple filter and stuff. So there's nothing, um, you know, notable about how, um, you know, the, the software is anything but basic. So I'm going to move on to most likely a one man show. So those are obviously things that are going to um, pose uh, a, an issue and something you should be aware of when it's a one man show. That means that, um, you know, they're not going to be able to update the software. They're also not going to have funding. Um, and there's just a lot of things that when they run into a challenge, they're only as good as their own knowledge, right? Um, and so they're not going to have other people in their on their team to bounce uh, ideas off of. They're also not going to be able to do customer support and keep up with the coding of the software and updates and roadmap and um, just the many, many things, marketing, you know, all those different things that you need in order to have a successful software. Um, and so I, I don't know if they're a one-man show, but everything that I see, and you'll see all these things down here, contribute to why I um, would would guess that this is a very small team, um, if not a one-man show, and that would definitely be... Um, I've only seen a couple softwares that are one man shows that actually did a really good job. Um, one of them was the, what was it? The software writer is one of the AI writers that came out a few years ago and it was by a, it was a, it was a one man a show and they did uh, just fine. But most of the time, that's not a good thing. Uh, possible burn and turn software. This just has that written all over it that they're just going to try to make any money that they can off of this. And then this will definitely be this software. Seems like it'll be dead within the next six months or a year. Not a lot of promise, not a lot of um, things that they can add to the software from what we've already seen. Uh, and then this is the biggest one so far, um, bad response rate or a couple of these, but bad response rate on AppSumo for, uh, with questions. I'm going to show you that right now. <clears throat> I'm just going to show you proof guys. So right over here, um, on December 7th, this is the day that I actually reached out to their, so their support. I'm going to show you that in a minute as well. I reached out to their support on December 7th, uh, via email 
And uh, look at this guy. He, he, he did this is over five days ago. Any roadmap, social media, video, like anything. Do you have any other information? You launch this app. You don't have a YouTube channel. You don't have any social media profiles. You didn't introduce yourself over here. Usually you always do a founder type thing, right? There should be a founder question. There's no founder questions over here. There's um, like they didn't introduce themselves or what kind of company who created the software, nothing. They also didn't do, and you'll see that I'm starting to get passionate. I'm starting to go off on a rant because this is just, it's pathetic, right? Why would you launch this software on this big platform that's getting millions of visitors? Um, this just has red flags all over it. Um, and then these are the companies that they put in here. I never even heard of any of those companies, by the way. Um, and then they don't tell us who created the software. They don't have a YouTube channel. Like I said, they don't have uh, really any information. Look at plans and features. Like literally there's like not, no details right here. You know, the good softwares will have like 10 plus things listed right here. Very mapped out, very clear on what you're going to get. Right. And so forth. Right. So, I um, mean, then this guy right over here, look, any roadmap, social media, video. I mean, he's wondering the same damn thing that I am right now. And this was five days ago. And look at no answers. Look, no answers over here, guys. Okay. Um, and then do you have, uh, they did answer this one over here. Do you have Germany as an option? Yes. Very short answers and so forth. So, um, and the fact that this has been, uh, um, on the platform for a week or two and it only has one review, um, just doesn't look, uh, bode well for it. Okay. So I'm gonna come back over here and we are on, so that proves the bad response rate over here. No public roadmap. Well, I've just kind of went over that just now. No AppSumo video or partnership. This means that there's no money to spend on marketing. What I mean by that, right, is when we come back over here and we look, most softwares will partner with AppSumo, especially if you're gonna launch on AppSumo's platform, they're already gonna be already gonna be taking most of the money. That's something that you guys need to be aware of, that the vendors don't make a whole lot of money on these softwares on AppSumo. AppSumo, I believe, takes 70% of each sale um, just for these vendors to be able to come in here and um, be on their, you know, their platform and get uh, the chance to get thousands of customers. And so the fact that they don't partner with them, uh, you know, I, I would say it probably costs a thousand or two thousand bucks or something like that to have them create the video and just kind of push out the email and stuff like um, they haven't partnered or done anything with um, AppSumo, and you would think that if you're going to launch on AppSumo, you may as well take every advantage that you can and definitely partner with them and do the, give your, your, uh, your, your app the best chance possible from a marketing standpoint, right? So they didn't do any of that as well. Um, and so forth. I want to check one more thing over here too, is just come over here and just check the sales page over here and look at this. So like, yeah, all their traffic is going to be, this is going to be traffic that came from, um, AppSumo. There's no way, I mean, look at this October right over here. So October, a hundred visitors, and then it jumped up to 33,000 in November. And there's no way by the time they launched that they actually had a thousand customers using their software. There's no way I would definitely um, question that like crazy. You guys also remember when I, uh, when they show a hundred million plus keywords right here, but then when you go to the site, it says that they have 6 billion, 6.5 billion keywords. Um, I'm just seeing so many different things. And then even when I was doing the sign up process for the free thing, there was misspellings and so forth. And some of the, um, uh, I noticed some misspellings as well. So just a lot of things to be aware of guys, when you're like looking at software, um, and then finally, I went over that, know about the founder info or introduction on AppSumo. Um, those are just all red flags right here. Um, I would definitely steer, steer clear of this software for now. We could keep our eye on it, but the fact that it's been on there for two weeks, it only has one review, um, and you can see their response rate. Um, oh, and I forgot to show you, I did reach out to them. So let's go over here. I'm going to blur out some of this, but um, you can see right over here that I did reach out to them, help at keywordpro.io. That's the only way that you can contact them. There's no other chat, there's nothing there. And I reached out to them to see if I could get access and they never, and you can see right over here, December 7th at 8.40 a.m., they never got back to me. How important do you think that this is for this company when they don't even care? Like they still might've made sales on this. Guys, even though there's only one review and so forth, they might've still made a hundred, 200, 500 sales. Um, and if they did, then they still made money 
and they don't it doesn't look like this tells me that they don't really care about AppSumo, their deal on AppSumo, or they don't care about their software at the end of the day. So um, when you come back and you just look at that, there's bugs and, you know, just all those different things, put this whole package together. Would you guys buy the software? Red flags. Unfortunately, I cannot recommend this software. Uh, I would stay away from it. That concludes my review and I'll see you in the next video.